Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Google Phone app on Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, I've always been a Nexus user myself. I love stock Android, and manufacturer skins like Samsung's TouchWiz just don't do it for me. That said, when the Galaxy S6 Edge came out, I couldn't resist myself. I absolutely had to have that gorgeous hardware, regardless of any issues I might have with the software. But man, I really underestimated how hard it would be to get used to TouchWiz. It's the little things that bother me most, like a phone app that's 10 times uglier than it is on the Nexus, while at the same time managing to be 10 times less useful. Obviously I got past it, because here I am holding the S7 Edge, but to be honest with you, the Nexus 6P is still my daily driver, because it's close enough hardware-wise, and I still prefer Google software to Samsung's. In my opinion though, this device I'm holding would be the perfect phone if you could just replace a few things with their stock Android counterparts. Well thanks to a new feature in Android 6.0 and some hard work from developers Unmex and Colda CZ, that dream is now one step closer to being a reality. They've actually ported Google's phone app to where it'll install on any Samsung Galaxy device running Marshmallow or higher and it doesn't even require root thanks to a new feature in Android 6.0. So basically, this should work on all variants of the S6, S6 Edge, Note 5, Galaxy S7, and of course the S7 Edge. And all you have to do in preparation is enable unknown sources in your phone's settings under lock screen and security. Once you've taken care of that, just head to step 1 in my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to download a copy of the ported Google Phone APK. From there, simply tap the download complete notification then press install on the screen that comes up next. Then once the app has been installed, this is where the new feature in Marshmallow comes into play. So head to your phone's main settings menu, then open the application submenu. From here choose default applications, then select calling app. Now this is the cool part. Thanks to a new feature in Marshmallow, you can now choose any app to handle all of your incoming and outgoing calls. So from here, select the phone option, which is obviously the Google phone app. And from now on, this will be your default dialer. At this point, all that's left to do is to try out your new phone app. It's exactly the same as it is on Nexus devices, so you get this pretty grid view of your top 8 contacts. But unfortunately, I'll have to blur this out because it shows too much personal information. But if you want to call one of your top 8 contacts, just tap their photo from this screen. Otherwise, you can hit the floating action button at the bottom to open the regular dial pad. Beyond that, you've got tabs to view your recent call history or your contacts. But one of the coolest features is that you can use the search field at the top of the screen to basically Google anyone's phone number. So you can type in pizza or something like that, and it'll use your location to find the phone numbers for pizza places nearby. And this works for practically any phone number you could find with Google search. On top of that, when you receive a phone call, the same feature works in reverse. So if it's a phone number that Google knows about, they'll add their name or business info directly to your incoming call screen, sort of like a souped up caller ID. Really though, this one app goes a long way towards getting that stock Android feeling on a Galaxy device, so it might be time for me to reconsider again. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!